Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we are in the scattered islands in the far east, on the island containing the wreck of the Martyr, building a watchtower. This build is designed as a monolithic structure that can watch over the eastern coastline for incoming ships and sea monstrosities from the far east. I'll be using Arena for this build to create some interesting architecture. I've used Arena a lot, for plenty of different builds in the past, but it's pretty hard to say no to the slope pieces when it comes to creating some interesting architectural forms. This sort of build would be a great design for maybe a roleplay server to defend the eastern coast, or maybe it's the corner turrets of a small castle. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I'm going to start off with of course the base plate. I started off with a 10x10 base plate of arena foundations that I would eventually build three tiles high. I initially filled the base plate in with foundations, though in retrospect it would have been easier to leave it hollow save for the outside walls, or even better use walls on the outside rather than foundations so you can easily build the dungeons. I then built a perimeter of walls inside the base plate within a 9x9 size, leaving a one tile border around the entire building. It was at this point I realised my mistake and tore down most of the foundations inside and built the dungeon first, separating the floor into various holding cells and capping the dungeon off at a height of two tiles high, then placing an elevator to access the ground floor. Next for the rooms on the ground floor. I built four 3x3 rooms in each corner of the ground floor, building the walls four tiles high and capping off the ground floor with ceilings. I then built four elevators on the front and right side corridors to lead up to the first observation deck.
At this point I had one of my trademark sudden ideas and removed all the ceilings I'd just placed to replace them with sloped ceilings. I initially went for the standard sloped ceiling structure, though I decided to change it to invert the slopes to the opposite way they're intended, which actually created quite a nice design. I then replaced the elevators and moved on to the tower, which would take up a 4x4 space. As for the height of the tower, I kind of just eyeballed it. I built the tower up until I had a decent view across the horizon, with each floor being two tiles high. I then finished off the top floor with ceilings. I then went up the tower using corner sloped ceilings at first, intending to only create small 2x1 balconies on each floor. However, I instead decided to change this design, using regular and corner sloped ceilings to create balconies that encircled the tower on each floor, including the top, then covering each balcony with fences on the edge. In retrospect, I think this was a pretty good decision to make to change from the smaller balconies to the larger ones, as it just makes the tower a bit more interesting to look at. Next I built the structure atop the tower. Initially I wanted to use gate frames to build the structure, however I wasn't able to properly place the gateways due to the dimensions in which I'd built the tower. Thus I instead opted for regular walls on each corner with a large open air doorway on each side, using sloped ceilings to cap off the structure. Thank you. 
I then used tiled reinforced roof pieces to cap off the room above the tower, then using pillars to hold up the base of the tower and placing awnings and fences on the perimeter around the ground floor. I also separated the rooms on the ground floor into two floors of rooms, both two tiles high, though I would later change the design of some of these rooms and connect them all together, you will see in the furnishing phase. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the watchtower with small braziers and hanging wall braziers, decorating the outside with flags and statues. Entering the build, I've placed a small statue in the centre of the build and used sloped ceiling pieces to connect the top floor of all the corner rooms together. Each of the rooms is designed with a specific purpose, with the ones at the front of the build being small workshops connected to rooms upstairs that serve as an armoury on the right hand side and an office on the left. The top floor connects to the rooms above the two back rooms, which both serve as small bedrooms for the soldiers that watch the coastline. Thank you. 
Beneath the bedrooms are the kitchens and dining room respectively, both working in tandem to host and feed the small garrison that live and work here. Heading down to the dungeons, this is a small prison area designed to hold a small amount of pirates apprehended by the soldiers that work at this watchtower. The cells are designed to be cramped and uncomfortable, offering only a bed and cold darkness to those imprisoned within. Heading up the elevator we reach the first observation deck and of course the tower. I've chosen to leave the tower unfurnished, though you could easily convert each room to some sort of purpose such as an armoury solely for archers, a break room for soldiers on watch, offices, more bedrooms, etc. There's a lot of wiggle room here so you can kind of do whatever you like. Reaching the top of the tower, the top observation deck has a great view across the horizon, able to spot incoming ships from the east even through the oppressive fog of this area. And there we have it, a watchtower on the island holding the wreck of the Martyr in the far eastern scattered islands of the Exiled Lands. Thanks for watching, this was a pretty spur of the moment build idea, but I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description below, with various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos, and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Code Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.